Hello everyone. So today we're going to be looking at doing a speech or an oral and how to deliver a speech or an oral in a really effective way so that your audience are interested and that your teacher really wants to listen to you. So the first thing you need to do is choose your topic wisely. Never choose something that you don't really enjoy and choose something that you know a little bit about. Also, once you have found out your information, only put across the facts that you think your audience will find interesting. You don't have to blurb on for ages and ages as, with as many facts as you can. Rather, keep it short. So that is one of the biggest tricks. Okay, so once you've got your speech prepared and you know what you are going to say, you need to think of how you are going to introduce your topic in the most exciting way. You have got 10 seconds to capture the audience's attention. Yes, only 10 seconds, and that's not very much at all. If you've lost your audience after 10 seconds, they are going to start looking all over the place. So don't start with ums and ahs. Walk in confidently, smile, and really come up with a good introduction. So maybe you're going to come up with a good quote. Maybe you're going to use a prop to show the audience. Maybe you dress up with a hat or a scarf or something like that. Or maybe you just have a really unusual way of presenting your speech. Like, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we are going to be taking a look at and then introduce your topic. So it really doesn't matter, but you just need to grab their attention. Remember that once you've finished with the main part of your speech, you need to have an ending. Don't just end off by saying, okay, well, that's it, I'm finished. You actually need to think about a good ending. So your beginning is very important, your introduction, then your middle has got all the facts and your information that you're going to be telling your audience about. And then the ending is very important. Remember, the ending is the last thing that you leave your audience with. So they need to have something to go home and think about. So your ending is very, very important too. Now, as I said before, you're going to come in confidently, shoulders back and relaxed, and you need to smile. If you smile, you put your audience at ease. If you're fiddling with your clothes and looking down and looking nervous, you make your audience feel uneasy and they're not going to really want to watch you. Okay, so the next thing is eye contact. Look at your audience, not just at your teacher, not just at your best friend. You need to look at every single member of your audience all the time. So keep changing where you are looking. Now, as you see, I was talking with my hands. You may use gesture if you need to. So instead of fiddling with your clothes or fiddling with a piece of paper, use your hands to help you. So if you want to make a point that is very definite, you can chop your hands together in a way. So that was absolutely important. All right, you get the idea. Or if you want to talk about something that is really something that means a lot to you, you could actually put your hands at your heart. All right, so, or you could talk with your palms openly to the audience. Putting your palms out like this makes an audience feel comfortable that you are telling the truth. Okay, so face your palms. You can also point occasionally at the audience if you needed to. One of the most important things is not to say um and ah the whole time, or worse still, have your cue cards that you are reading from all the time and not looking like you know what you are doing. It becomes very distracting for the audience. If you're paying the piece of paper attention, you're not paying the audience attention and they are going to lose interest. Okay, so remember, keep your speech pretty short. Don't make it too long and boring. Have a good introduction. Have an interesting middle section and then tie it up with a conclusion. You aren't to fiddle with your clothes, look confident, smile, use your hands if you need to, gesture if you need to. Don't fiddle with your clothes and no ums and ahs and pay your audience attention by looking at your audience members and not your cue cards. In fact, if you can do without cue cards, it is really to your advantage. 
Okay, so looking forward to seeing some of your wonderful orals. Bye. Thank you.